how to add a restaurant menu to your Shopify website. Now, this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you everything that you need to do. So, if you follow along, by the end of this video, you will be able to add a restaurant menu to your Shopify website. Okay, so to do this, the first thing that you want to do is go to the first link in this video description. Go ahead and click on this and that will take you over to this website called Elfsite. Now, Elfsite is a fantastic software that will allow you to add widgets and different things to your Shopify website without having to code or add in any complicated pieces at all. Super, super simple. That is what we are going to use to add to the restaurant menu. And the awesome thing about Elfsite is the fact that you can go ahead and sign up for free. So all you have to do is enter your email in right here click on start and then you will be able to go ahead and get started and sign up for Elfsite. Now, once you have done that, once you have signed up, all you then need to do is click on widgets at the top right here. It's then going to load up all of these widgets and show you all of the widgets that you can use with Elfsite. However, for this video, we are specifically interested in the restaurant menu. So if you go ahead and type in menu into this search bar right here, you can see the restaurant menu is going to pop up. So all we need to do is click on this right here, go down to the edit widget section, and it's going to show you a few different options that you can choose from just to use as like templates uh, that you can fully customize. So from these, just go ahead and select the one that you want to go with. I'm going to go with this one. And then we can go in here and we can completely edit this. So with the name right here, um, I don't know much about, su I think this is sushi. Um, I know that there's something called a Pokeball. And then all you would do is add like the name and then a caption, which is basically describing what the recipe is, what this is about and everything like that. Now it's completely up to you. If you want to add like a price right here, we could go ahead and add this right here. Uh, you can also add images for each individual one. If there's a specific badge that you want to add, you can add in like separate icons um, and basically add in like allergy advice or anything like that. And then we can also go ahead and add in nutritional info if you want to do that as well. So you can go ahead and edit all of these individual items on the menu. And then what you can also do is you can add in new menus if you want to create like a second menu down here. Um, and then this one might be like, I don't know, dessert. It's like this, you can add that in and then you can go through and create like a second menu right here. Once that is done, once you have fully customized your menu, you have added all of the dishes, you have added any photos or anything that you would like to add. All you then need to do is click on add to website for free. And then this is going to take you through and kind of show you like a, uh, a template or a preview of what this is going to look like. Once you're happy with that preview, just click on publish up here. And then it's going to take you through and show you all of these different options that you can go with in terms of a plan. Now for the plan, the one that you go with would depend on how many website views you get on a monthly basis. Now, if you're new to Shopify or if you just want to test this out, you can go with the free plan and click on select. And then right here, you can see it gives us a piece of code. Now with this code, it is literally as simple as copy and paste. So all you have to do is copy the code right here, go over to Shopify, and then make sure that you're not in the header or the footer section. Make sure that you're in template. I just, let me just delete this real quick. Add the section right here. And then all we need to do is go down to this section called custom liquid and add this in. You can see it will then add in like a little plain box that is called custom liquid. And then all we have to do in this liquid code section is paste this in, give it a few seconds. And then just like that, the menu that we just created is going to load in right here. And that is how you can add a restaurant menu to your Shopify website. 